So I'm taking my bicycle on another ride to Toy Sapiens. Hope you guys like a little speed here and let's go. Hey there, welcome to my toys. Here we are once again on my bicycle journey to Toy Sapiens. I do like this journey, but first remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future content like this. So like I was saying, I just kind of like taking bicycle rides and from my place to Toy Sapiens is about 30 minutes and here I'm just kind of showing you the different sceneries. I didn't want to show you the full 20 minutes or 30 is probably kind of boring for you guys but nonetheless hope the speed doesn't bother you and just this way I show you and we get here fast so here we are at Toy Sapiens and they currently have the Marvel All-Stars event going on we have on the left side of the store facing the store that is some of uh, those uh, holographic Iron Man figures and facing the store on the right this is what you would see and we have uh, making his cameo like he does in all my videos Stan Lee and this is the entrance so first thing you would see says Marvel All-Stars you got some hand sanitizer there and Walking in, this is what it would look like. Hope you guys like this GoPro. Shot it in 4K this time, is last time. I did in HD and YouTube's compression is not very good when it comes to, especially those bike rides. So made sure I shot this one in 4K for you guys. There we have a pinball machine of Iron Man. I should have played that. Maybe I'll go back there and play a game. I miss kind of playing pinball machines. Those are fun. And this is what you would have in terms of merchandise. Do you have those shields? They're customized shields. Some artists kind of painted them, and did different things with them. I'm not sure exactly what the contest is, but I do know it's a contest of decorating shields. We have these. Um, cosplay I don't know what they're called because I don't really care but um, got some t-shirts here we go here we have the figures that are available for sale or pre-order as you can see at the entrance Stan Lee the version of Thor Ragnarok and they're in stock Iron Man holographic and Loki from the 2012 Avengers version I think is probably called here we have a collection of figures. I've shown this many times in my videos and one specifically I'll link it up if you guys want to see all the figures uh, close, to, close up. And here we have some more merchandise. You saw there the holographic Iron Man, many available in stock. It's not really a figure for me. This is something that I always like collecting the box art magnets and I did pick one more up I'm looking for, to get a mark 3 is a that was the first figure I ever got the original mark 3 from back in the day um, so I, I every time I go to the store I spend like seven bucks and see if I get lucky and get that figure so what else do we have here so some more clothes 5,000 yen t-shirts which are 50 bucks and some hoodies they didn't pick any of them up this time either and there I showed you at the entrance that's where all the pieces of the holographic Iron Man showing what is die cast and what's plastic mostly plastic though and here I'm going to the seven level where they have all the figures in display that was nice timing showed hot toys on the screen I didn't prepare that and here going up 
Man of Hot Collectibles, Dante's favorite figure. I took a close up just for you, man, because I know you love this figure. No, I know you don't. Um, anyways, uh, here you can see some more of those shields and some more of the merchandise available to purchase as well as these full-size figures, not figures, statues. <laughs> I always call it, I call everything a figure. But um, here we can see, I'm, I'm gonna show you all the figures, not in close-ups, as I did take uh, 4K images at the Tokyo event, and I'll link it up at the end of the video of all the prototypes. I gotta tell you guys, for this event, I was a little disappointed because I was expecting at least to have maybe like the Iron Man Mark 85 battle damaged, uh, Tony Stark doing the snap, you know, prototype and display or something they didn't show at Tokyo, but quite in fact the opposite. They did have, of course, you know, all these costumes as you can see, but you know, speaking of figures, Hot Toys prototypes, I was expecting they would have something we haven't seen and in fact they had less. So. This is why I didn't really rush the video. I just, whenever I had some spare time, I did shoot it for you guys. It's interesting to share. I always enjoy going to these events and uh, shooting it. These are beautiful pieces. But don't expect to see any new prototypes. I was disappointed myself, so. But they do have some prototypes and I'm gonna show those. And if you wanna see all the prototypes, is close-ups in 4k like i mentioned at the end of this video i will uh, link it up a playlist of all the prototypes shown here plus more actually so we're looking at the statues and here we have some more merchandise available these are like uh what plushies not sort of i'm not into those uh cute type of uh, like cause babies or this is something i'd like to have look at this this is amazing very very cool that that looks like loki it's uh bust I, they had it at tokyo and i was quite impressed with that so you're taking a look at the figures available here we have a prototype this one is not a prototype this one was kind of cool to see. I hadn't seen that figure in person, the Spider-Man, but he is already available. Um, he released, that means. That's what I mean. So most of these figures, as you're seeing, they are released. They didn't have this uh, Thor Ragnarok, Thor or Hulk in Tokyo, but a lot of people have those figures in their house. It's, you know, to me it was cool to see because I don't have either of those figures. Here we have, oh, this is Cable, you have that prototype. Just a few, unfortunately, just a few. This is a figure I wanna get actually. And I did wanna get a little from the side what the figure looks like because I think that, that, that Venom looks cool. And here we have Black Widow and Taskmaster, both are prototypes. So there, there's a few. You know, for people who didn't go to the Tokyo event, this is a, another chance to see. And I would see people getting excited if they didn't go to that event. But for me, since I went to the Tokyo one, nothing too exciting, but it's always cool to walk into the shop. If you guys follow my channel, you know I come to the shop often. Here they have some of these figures in stock. Um, but, I always, it's, it's my pleasure and, and I'm very grateful to have this shop uh, near where I live. So uh, don't, don't get me wrong, but I was hoping they would have something that would, you know, get me really excited. Something we hadn't seen before. It's a little too bad. There is a chance they may add it. Sometimes halfway through the event, they'll add a figure to the roster, I wanna say, of figures in display. So I will go once a week, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but just to check in and see. And definitely we'll make a video if uh, something pops up. But as of now, this is what they have. So hope you guys enjoyed it. That will be all. And uh, like I always say, subscribe, like, and comment. 
enjoy the path of collecting and I'll catch you guys next time and in the meantime I will leave these videos here a playlist of the 4k showcase videos of the prototypes as well as the tour of Tokyo if you haven't seen it